Here we go again. Just now, it's confirmed that Jaden Sancho is reportedly willing to return to Man Utid, but on the condition Eric Ten Hag leaves. The Dutch tactician's future is still in limbo, with Sir Jim Ratcliffe preparing an annual review. And the Mirror say Sancho could come back to the club, where he fell out of favor with Ten Hag if the coach is relieved of his duties. The report adds the winger is reluctant to give up on his career at United and still has the ambition to make it work at Old Trafford. So, as there is still 11 days to go until the new transfer window opens, but transfer news continue to circle surrounding who might leave and join Manchester United this summer. While that situation is revolving, United continue to be linked with several players as they prepare for a busy summer of transfers, both from an incoming and outgoing point of view. So, yesterday, news and updates thrilled that United are eyeing up a move to sign 60 millions of pounds rated forward Matthias Kunha from Wolves. Mirror Sport understands the Red Devils constantly tracked Kunha throughout last season, and he is considered to be high up on their list of potential summer transfer targets. Eric only has two recognized strikers in Rasmus Hoyland and Marcus Rashford, and a new attacker is on the agenda. And Kunha has emerged as a player United would like to recruit, even though he has only been at Wolves for 17 months. 11 of which have been permanently after his 44 millions of pounds move from Atletico Madrid. Cunha scored 14 goals, 12 in the Premier League, and made 8 assists in an impressive full debut season. Meanwhile, former United striker Teddy Sheringham has said he would like his old club to swoop for Crystal Palace ace Michael Olise this summer. Olise has been heavily linked with a move to Old Trafford in recent weeks after plundering 10 goals and creating 6 in just 19 Premier League appearances this season. Sheringham told Genting Casino, I'd like to see Michael Olise as a Manchester United player. He has been at the top of his game for Crystal Palace over the last few months of the season. I like him as a winger, and United should be looking at players who are the main reason for their current club doing well. In this case, Crystal Palace. Top players like that, United should be in for them. On the other side. According to a report by Football Insider, Sir Alex Ferguson met Crystal Palace sporting director Dougie Friedman to explore the club's position on selling Mark Guehi, Ebereki Easy, and Michael Olises ahead of this summer's transfer window. United have been heavily linked with the possibility of signing Olise in recent months amid plans to beef up their attacking options. Reports linking them with Guehi have also increased in recent weeks. The report adds that EZ could also come into the equation, with it claimed United are plotting a triple raid for the Palace Stars. Palace ended the 2023-24 season in fantastic form, finishing just two places behind United in the Premier League table, again and again. Manchester United have to sell players this summer to cope with financial fair play and make extra additions to the squad, Fabrizio Romano exclusively tells Give Me Sport. The Red Devils are linked with several signings in the upcoming transfer window, including a new right-back. However, Romano suggests that signing a new right-sided defender could depend on Aaron Wan-Bissaka's future at the club, as the Englishman has been linked with a move away from Old Trafford this summer. The club is also looking to sign a new left-back, after both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia have struggled with injuries this season. Malaysia's last game for Manchester United was almost 12 months ago, while Shaw has only appeared in 12 Premier League matches this campaign. United had to rely on the likes of Diogo Delote and Sofian Amrabat at left back this season and are looking for reinforcements in the summer transfer window. Man United are looking to improve the fullback situation, but may only focus on the left side of the defense, Romano suggests. If Juan Bissaka is leaving, Maybe it could be the case also for Man United to go and sign a new right back. Otherwise, they can only invest in the left back. I think it's also going to be important what's going to happen with the outgoings, because we're always mentioning left backs, center backs, midfielders, strikers, wingers. But then you also have to sell players, and for financial fair play, it's really, really important.
In the past 12 months, Man United have struggled to offload unwanted players, as both Scott McTominay and Harry Maguire were on the verge of leaving the club last summer, but eventually, the deals collapsed. The Red Devils are set to lose two players for free next month. Both Anthony Marshall and Raphael Varane will leave the club after their deals expire in June. The two exits will free up wages for new additions, as the club is currently chasing a deal for a new centre-back to replace Varane, with Gerard Branthwaite, Tosin Adarabioyo, and Jean-Claire Todibo among the targets. So, after Varane and Marshall's exits, Juan Bissaka could be next to follow out the door. The 26-year-old is reportedly up for sale as the club prepares for a major summer clearout. After arriving from Crystal Palace in a 50 millions of pounds deal in 2019, the right back has struggled to stay fit and solidify his place in the first 11 under Eric Ten Hag. According to the Spanish outlet Fichajes, United are willing to offer Juan Bissaka a pathway back to Selhurst Park by including him in the deal for Michael Olis. Again and again. Fernandez stunned the club last month by hinting he could quit after the Euros for a fresh challenge. The FA Cup winner said he would wait until after the tournament was over before making a final decision on his future. But he dropped a worrying hint his old Trafford spell could be approaching an end as he warned the club to match his ambition. He wrote in a piece for the Players' Tribune, I just want my expectations to fit with the expectations of the club. If you go talk to any fan, they will tell you the same thing. We want to compete for the league. We want to be playing Champions League football. We want to be in cup finals. That is the standard. That is what I want. That is what you all deserve. So, Bayern Munich have made an approach to sign Bruno Fernandes, according to reports. The midfielder's future at Old Trafford is uncertain ahead of what could be a busy summer for Manchester United. Fernandes was made United captain by Eric Ten Hag last year, but he could be tempted by a move away. And Bayern have opened talks with his agent, Miguel Pino, over a summer transfer, according to Ojogo. The report adds Barcelona are also interested in signing Fernandes, and could open talks soon. Sunsport understands the United skipper is considering a summer move after four and a half seasons at the club. Meanwhile, Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw will miss England's friendly against Bosnia on Monday. However, according to manager Gareth Southgate, they are progressing well. He said, all are progressing well. We're pleased with the progress they've made. None of them will be involved tomorrow. Same tomorrow for Bukayo and probably the same tomorrow for John Stones. Everybody else will be involved on the other side. Barcelona defender Ronald Araujo said he will remain calm amid speculation he could be leaving the club. Bayern Munich and Man United have been linked with a move for the Uruguayan. Will I stay at Barcelona? I'm very well. I'm calm, Araujo revealed. I have a contract until 2026. My representatives will meet the club, but right now I'm focused on the national team. On the other side, United manager Eric Ten Hag has distanced himself from the responsibility of spending north of 400 millions of pounds on players since his arrival at the club two years ago. United have made a number of big money signings since he was appointed boss in April 2022, including the additions of Mason Mount and Rasmus Hoyland last summer. Despite that, he has played down any involvement in that side of the operation. He said, the prices paid for players are indeed very high but I am not responsible for that. The club did all the negotiations, including with very good potential players who didn't come in the end. So it is all a bit more nuanced than the picture that is being painted that the purchase policy is disastrous. It's all negative, but despite all the problems, the foundation at the club has grown stronger. Elsewhere, Man United manager Eric Ten Hag has revealed the extent of Tyrell Malaysia's injury woes. The Dutch international appeared 39 times in his debut campaign with the Red Devils, but this season he didn't get any minutes following surgery on a knee injury. Malaysia hasn't played a minute all season. He hasn't even been on the training pitch once, Ten Hag said. We had recruited Malaysia at the start of last season precisely as a backup for Luke Shaw. Those two options had to bring us a lot. The idea with Malaysia was very good and he just did well last season. 
but this season, we never had him.